We start by spreading the template out as flat as possible. If you are not 100% sure on how to make your template, I will add a link to that video tutorial at the end of this video. Then we make sure we have enough material to cover the template. You will most likely be using double plank strips, but if you are building decks on a regular basis, I would suggest purchasing the four or six plank strips to make the process faster. Line the first strip of material up with the center line on the template to make sure that all the lines on the deck will be running in the correct direction. As Nutik is a flexible material, you'll need to use a straight edge to double check that all of your lines are perfectly straight before weighing the strip down to keep it in place. Once the first strip is lined up and laid down, you can begin gluing the strips together. This process moves fairly fast as the mask glue provided by ICA Group dries in 2 to 12 seconds. Use your straight edge to keep checking that the lines stay straight as you add more material to your synthetic teak panel. Now that the panel is glued together, if the design does not include margins, the glued panel will simply be placed underneath the template, the center line lined up, and the outline of the template traced, cut out, and neatly finished with 40 to 60 grit sandpaper. If margins are to be added, the panel will be cut out not more than 2 inches smaller than the outline on the template. Use a 55mm spacer or a piece of margin material and line it up with the outline of the template. Mark where the margins will be attached. Use a flexible material or a circular jig to make sure that the curves are nice and neat. Nutig margin material is flexible enough to be bent to a slight curve. A strip of margin material will be used to check which curves can be bent and which curves will need to be cut out. Once the margin line is completed, take the panel off of the template and place it on a cutting surface. The margin line will be carefully cut out and neatly sanded to an even edge. Now the margins can be glued to the panel. Careful attention is placed on the position of the mitres in order to create an aesthetically pleasing deck. areas where the curve is too sharp to bend, the margins will need to be cut out of Nutik King Plank. King Plank is versatile because it has no lines but that means we need to add the lines with PVC welding. In order to add a welding strip, the inner edge of the king plank needs to be routed. This route will be about 2 mm deep and 4.5 mm wide. It is important that it is not wider than the 5 mm welding strip.
Once the margins have been glued in place, any necessary top welding can be done to add the 5mm line where needed. A light sand in the direction of the grain with 40 to 60 grit sandpaper will neatly finish off the top of the deck. The final step is to turn the panel over and bottom weld all of the joins. For DIY manufacturers, this step is not necessary if the glue was properly applied. Our new teak panel manufacturers, however, like to be 110% sure of the quality of our panels. All that's left is installation. Then you can start to enjoy the water with the added value of the most realistic, low maintenance synthetic teak on the market.